Hello mga bata, kamusta na kayo? Nandito na ulit si Sir Roland para turuan kayo ng bagong aralin sa mathematics. At para sa video tutorial ko ngayon, tatalakayan ko sa inyo ang pagmumultiply ng 2 to 1 to 2 digit numbers mentally. So, ano pang hinihintay natin? Tara na! Let us start our lesson with a problem. We're going to analyze the problem carefully. Lael planted 3 rows of seedlings in pots. Each row had 12 seedlings. How many seedlings did she planted in all? So, bago tayo tumungo sa pagsasagot ng ating suliranin, meron tayong mga guide questions na kailangan nating masagot. Una, what did Lael plant in pots? So, Lael planted seedling in the pots. Next one, how many rows of seedlings are there? So, there are 3 rows of seedlings. The next one is, how many seedlings do each row have? So, there are 12 seedlings in each row. And the fourth one is, what is asked in the problem? So, what is asked in the problem is, the number of seedlings planted in all. In this type of problems, kaya natin siyang sagutin using our mental mathematics or sa pamamagitan lamang ng isip without writing it down in a piece of paper or kahit ano nating describe. So, there are two ways to mentally find the answer to the problem presented. So, let us study how to multiply numbers mentally. So, yung tuturo ko sa inyo ay dalawang pamamaraan upang makapag-multiply kayo mentally gamit lamang ang isip. The first one is by multiplying the numbers using the place value. This is how we're going to multiply the numbers using the place value. So, dito sa board, isinulat ko yung process ng multiplying our numbers using place value. Pero, in real life, you will not write it down kasi nga, sabi, you will multiply it mentally. Or lahat ng pagsasolve ay gagamitin nyo lamang ang inyong isip. So, for the first step, we're going to multiply mentally the multiplier by the 1. So, our multiplier is 3. So, we will multiply 3 by 2 sa ating isip. Ano? Since mababa pa naman siya, 3 times 2, kaya-kaya natin itong i-multiply. So, alam naman nating lahat na 3 times 2 equals 6. For the second part of our solution, of our first solution, proceed na tayo sa sunod na ay multiply So, we're going to multiply mentally again the multiplier by the 10. So, ang ating 10s ay 10. So, multiply 3 by 10 we have 30. And for our third uh, step in our first solution, we're going to add mentally ulit the partial product. So sa ating isip lang ang ano, matapos natin i-multiply si 3 times 2 and si 3 times 10. So, i-add na natin ngayon ang ating partial products na 6 and 30. So 6 plus 30 equals 36. Meaning, there are 36 seedlings planted in all. So, that is by the use of our first step, which is uh, by using or by multiplying the numbers using its place value. We will now proceed to solution number 2 or yung padalawang method para makuha natin yung sagot in adding uh, this number mentally. So, gagamitin natin yung distributive property. Paano ba natin siya uh, i-apply? So, ganito lang. We will write our multiplier times. Then, ang gagawin lang natin, pag natin yung uh, ones and tens natin. Ano? So, meaning, gagawin natin siyang 10 plus 2. So, since 10 plus 2 equals 12, pareho lang din sila. So, ganun na yung magiging uh, way para mas madali natin siyang multiply mentally. So, always remember that we're doing this mentally ano, or easy lang ang ating ginagamit. So, again, kagaya ng kanina or as what the property suggests, distributive property. So, i-distribute natin yung ating multiplier dun sa ating uh, multiplikan na 10 plus 2. So, this will become 3 times 10 plus 3 times 2. So, we will proceed to 3 times 10. So, 3 times 10 equals 30 plus 
3 times 2 equals 6. And again, we're going to add our partial product, which is 30 plus 6 equals 36. So again, there are 36 seedlings planted in all. So all of this, we're done using our mind only or mentally lamang. So maalin dun sa dalawa, pwede nyong i-choose yung una nating solution na multiplying the numbers using the place value or itong padalawa nating solution na multiplying the numbers using distributive property. Let us proceed to problem number 2. La L can sew 15 dresses in a day. How many dresses can she sew in 12 days? So what is asked in our problem is the number of dresses she can sew in 12 days. So our given are 15 dresses and 12 days. So this is how we're going to solve our problem. So ganito. Again, we're going to solve this mentally. I'm just writing it down para ipakita sa inyo kung paano yung process. So the first step is we're going to multiply mentally the multiplicand by the ones of the multiplier. So again, this is our multiplicand, ano? Yung ating 15. And the ones of our multiplier is 2. So as what step one suggested, yun daw ating multiplicand, ay imumultiply natin sa ating ones, which is 2. So mentally, ano kaya ang 15 times 2 or dalawang 15? So we have... 30. For the second step, we're going to multiply mentally the multiplicand by the tens of the multiplier. So, again, ito ating multiplicand. This time, i-multiply natin sa ating tens, which is 10. So, we have 15 times 10 equals. So, ngayon naman, we're going to multiply this mentally. 15 times 10. So, ilan kaya ang labing lima na 10. So, we have 150. And again, for our um, third step or for the last step, we're going to add our partial products which are 30 and 150. Pagka na-add na natin ang 30 plus 150, mag arrive na tayo sa ating final answer. So, let us do it. 30 plus 150 equals 180. Meaning, La L can sew 180 dresses in 12 days. Kagaya ng nasabi ko sa mga nakaraan kong videos, okay lang na hindi mo solo ang multiplication table as long as alam mo yung uh, paraan para makuha yung final answer. Uh, dapat alam mo na pag sinabi nating multiplication, it is just repeated addition. Para sa portion ng video na ito, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano ba gamitin ang ating daliri sa pagmumultiply ng uh, small numbers. So ito, honestly hanggang ngayon ginagamit ko ito kasi uh, to double check kung tama ba yung aking sagot. So this um, finger math is only applicable from number 6 to 10. Paano ba ginagamit itong finger math na ituturo ko sa inyo? So, let's say for example, itong ating hindi liit is number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9, and number 10. Same as do sa ating kabilang kamay. Number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9, and number 10. So, madali lang to Ang gagawin mo lang, pagtatapatin mo lang yung numbers na pinagmumultiply, then we will count it by tens. And yung mga nasa upper uh, finger na natitira is you're going to multiply and i-add mo yung product niya doon sa tens natin sa ilalim. So, let us, let me give you an example para mas madali nating maunawaan. So, let us say, multiply 9, yung ating point finger, and 7, yung ating ring finger. So, pagtatapatin nyo lang siya. And, ang count niya ulit ay for 9, 10, 20, 30, 40. And for dun sa ating 7, 50, 60. So we have 60. And yung natitira sa taas ay 3 and 1. So sabi ko kanina, you're going to multiply. So 3 times 1 equals 3. Plus, yung 60 natin kanina is 63. So 9 times 7 equals 63. 
So, mag-try pa tayo na iba pang number. Let us try 9 times 9. So, tatapatin natin yung dalawang 9. So, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And yung natitira natin sa taas is 1 and 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. Plus, 80 equals 81. Isa na namang aralin sa mathematics ang ating natutunan. Nawa ay magamit ninyo ito hindi lamang sa pagsasagot ng mga gawain sa paaralan, maging sa totoong buhay. Para sa iba pang mga video tutorial sa mathematics, subscribe to our YouTube channel, All and Ella YTC, at i-click ang notification bell to get notified by our new videos. Hanggang sa susunod na video, thank you and God bless!